Good morning and welcome back to the Tomarosa. If you're joining us for the first time, uh, we have a small farm in eastern Washington state and we are building it into a small dairy farm. I'm in the Coast Guard and I have four months until retirement. Very exciting. <laughs> and uh, we have a lot going on between now and then. Well, last night, Buttercup was standing. We'd seen some heat uh, evidence that she was going into heat uh, during the day, but by evening she was definitely standing, so we're gonna breed her this morning. Come, cows, come, carnation, rose. Buttercup is frisky. Yeah. She's ready for breeding. We're breeding Buttercup today, and we are using AI, which is artificial insemination. The other method is, of course, a bull, known as natural service. Uh, we don't necessarily have anything against having a bull. We might have one someday, but for our first round here, and uh, especially because I'm not here all the time, uh, we wanted to go with AI just because we didn't want to have to raise a bull at the same time we were raising these girls. Someone was jealous. We are really excited about today because it's another big step in getting ready for our dairy. Our heifers are 17 months old and we are breeding them now in uh, mid to late July because we want them to calf in April, May next year when we have our dairy up and running. So this is a big step and we're super excited about today. Neither one of us are trained at doing AI, but our good friends Jay and Michelle from Colville are coming by and they're going to be doing all of our AI for us. Well, good morning. We're here at uh, the ranch to breed a Jersey yearling for the first time this morning, so kind of an interesting morning. We've brought along our liquid nitrogen tank that has the units of semen in it. This is at minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. It's rather cold. And then all of our equipment, our gloves and, and uh, pipettes for inserting the semen that we will thaw at 95 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. And the big challenge as we look across here, the heifer is still standing, which is a good thing, uh, meaning we like to breed heifers a little, what we call warm, in other words, more in heat than going out of heat, so everything looks good at this point. So as soon as the water's at 95 degrees, we will bring out the unit of semen that's in a one, half cc straw in here, thaw it, and we'll go over and get her caught up, secured, and then we will, the challenge is inserting the pipette through her vulva, locating the cervix, and then passing the end of the pipette and the semen through the three angular rings of the cervix into the anterior uterus. If we are successful in doing that, we will have had a good day. Yeah, that's why I was finally like, let's just have the vet look at her. Okay, we've just thawed the semen. And now Michelle's going to insert it in this pipette. And we're going to insert the cover sleeve over it. Bring the semen up there. right to where it belongs. Okay, perfect. Keep it warm. A little mineral oil to lubricate the arm. And then she's showing such a good positive heat, the track has come up and it's right where you want it to be. Making a nice little, what we call a slick or discharge. Exactly the way you want to see it. Now the important thing here is when you go in you kind of go up and down because you got to get past the bladder and if you uh, happen to run into the bladder they'll let you know because it must be pretty painful. Her tone was really good. Being a virgin heifer, like I said, her track's real small, so getting 
with it through the three angular rings was a little more difficult than it would be on an animal that's already had a calf or two. But that's why you like to inseminate them when they're warm like this because everything's ready for a better presentation. So this all went well and I'm massaging the track a little bit now. That went good. Well, thanks so much for coming out today and breeding. Well, see you again three more times. <laughs> we will do that. So there goes our official professional AI team. So glad they stopped by today. One down, three to go. All right, so Jay and Michelle just left and I think everything went really well. I'm really glad that we have Jay around to breed our heifers because he has decades of experience. So here's hoping, fingers crossed. So that was the first time. We have three more to breed and they'll come out and take care of those within the next probably two weeks. And then we'll go from there. If they've taken this first time, they'll be ready to calve in like April or May. If they don't take this first time, then we will have to uh, rebreed them, which isn't unheard of with AI and especially with heifers for the first breeding. Thanks for joining us on the Tomarosa. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And we will see you next time. You got in your tail there, Rose. What's that in your tail? <laughs> no, you can't eat that. We gotta untangle it. There we go.